supply related wars a rubber band gatling gun yeah we'll show you more on around that plus in the loop we talk to the critics who have seen cloverfield we're gonna find out if it's all hype or if this monster movie really has bite <laughs> cloverfield or clover fail <laughs> i juked you also in Gadgetron, we review the new Jensen Touch screen GPS device that will let you rock the road. And then we taste test something called the Miracle Berry Live Studio. It's a fruit that was formerly banned in the U.S. and messes with your taste buds, turning sour food sweet. We Love will the eat it. Berry. Time to show you our own personal DVR of the top five web items of the day. It's because we love you, really. We do. A deep light. Let's go around that. Now, many people have wondered how Lost can recapture the magic of its early episodes when it comes back, you know, mm -hmm. in, in 2017. I Today's wait. number five item actually offers a very interesting solution. By combining one of television's best island-based dramas with one of television's best mustache-based cop shows, see where I'm going with this? Yeah. New York sketch comedy true Black 20 delivers broadcasting gold to ABC. I'm one of the survivors of Oceanic Flight 815. We'll be right there. It's happening. We're going to get off of this island. Every single living person on this island will be killed. Oh. Why didn't you tell me that in the first place? They're traitor in your place. Let's go! dipping in that theme song like yeah. i'm pumped for that somebody should bring that theme song back oh, it's so good it just gets you this is why the wider writer strike needs to end though because like i need a show like that yes. on my tivo i want that show now give her that show in at number four is a clip from the onion news networks today now in the episode the fake morning show hosts discuss a charitable organization that's sadly facing some tough times yeah you know some kids they want to meet professional athletes mm -hmm. which is understandable others want to go to disney world some kids however are just Pure evil geniuses. The Make-A-Wish Foundation, you know them for yep, all the charitable yep. work they've done over the years, is expected to file for bankruptcy, all due to the financial strain caused by one little child's wish for unlimited wishes. Nine trips to Walt Disney World for himself and his family of five, a real live F-14 Tomcat, which had to be decommissioned from Afghanistan, and daily hot dog lunches with Yankee slugger Johnny Damon. And joining us here is Make-A-Wish Foundation President Dean Fineglass. Dean, our sympathies to you today, buddy. You are really in a bind, aren't you? The worst case is that we continue to grant Chad day after day his unlimited wishes from now until the day he dies. Well, and we can only hope that that's coming soon. Oh, yeah. I love his, his, uh, his handicap accessible uh, treehouse. It was nice. <laughs> like, that's pretty sweet. Now, Make-A-Wish Foundation actually stirred up some controversy a few years back when they would grant hunting trips to terminally ill kids. Yeah. They have now halted all hunting wishes, saying guns probably aren't the safest things to let dying kids handle. They're going to die anyways. Yes. You let them go out with a bang. I mean, oh, literally I and figuratively. So too. Really? They're dying. I'll take that. <laughs> Olivia. Yeah. Have you heard that watching three consecutive around the net items can make you sterile? I thought that was debunked. Well, bought off scientists and lawyers are actually working around the clock to okay. disprove it. But until that happens, we'll just have to visit the urban legend ER, <laughs> courtesy of College Humor. There's Mason, you've paged me 11 times. What's going on? It's out of control, Doctor. I've never seen it like this before. A train was derailed by a penny on the track. We need to abolish pennies! Two of the victims need immediate kidney transplants. Oh, thank God we got these in today. Ah! Those are my kidneys! What? I woke up this morning without them in a bathtub full of ice! Get this woman her kidneys! The boy in bed 12 ate Pop Rocks and Coke. We don't have much time. Never gets any easier, does it? Special effects. 
That's some critical commentary right there. Have you heard that enjoying college humor original videos makes you sterile? Okay, you can stop it. Okay, I'm sorry. It's not even funny. <laughs> Today's number two item takes an activity we all know and love and gives it a Major League Baseball style steroid injection. Yeah, see, making a rubber band gun with your hands, innocent pastime. Making a motorized dual yeah. cannon rubber band Gatling gun, yeah. twisted experiment in mechanical science that should not ever be attempted unless you want to look like a total nerd badass. <laughs> Create that Terminator 2 scene when he's like down, oh, looking yeah. down from the office and rubber banding the mic micro machines or something like I that. I bet we can get somebody from our department to whip that up by we the end of the show, that. huh? Oh, we're working on meat related items right That's now. That's right. You'll see. Uh, this monster has a range of about 20 feet, fires 288 rubber bands at a rate of 40 per second. And it is also one of the fastest ways to get your name on a government list. But it's a good list, right? Well, there are no good government lists. Oh, oh it, except the uh, save at all costs slash forced mating list. Which... That, is a, that is a good one. All mating should be forced, as far as I'm concerned. Did you guys get that joke? Let me explain it to you. Yeah, let's go. It's a... Uh... Because the thing is, when the world... Let's really... say a nuke, a nuke bomb goes nuke, off. You want to be Who are they going to save? You want to be on the list when <laughs> they're asking you that you need to have sex to repopulate the world. And... The forced mating. <laughs> right? Because it's a good thing. It is... That is a good... That is a good list. You just need a little explanation. Yeah. All good jokes need just a little explanation. All good, just push the boulder there over the is, hill and we'll all roll down is. together. <sighs> Finally, topping off the internet is something a, a little special. Now, you know, we here at Attack of the Show never exaggerate. No. So when we tell you this next web item is one of the best things we have ever seen, you know we are not lying. No. It's a contest of colossal proportions. Two of nature's most feared beasts mm. taking on each other mm. in a head-to-head -head Fight to the death! Mm -hmm. Yeah! Woo Woo! Please, if you have, if you have a heart condition, sure. look away. If you're pregnant, please close your eyes. Shame on you. Escort the elderly and emotionally fragile away from the mm -hmm. television. What you are about to see will change the way you look at the world forever. Outstanding. Outstanding. Again? We have a duty to show this again. One more! Yes! Yes! It's not now! Oh, oh wait. I'm sorry. We're not done. No. We are not done. Now we've shown you the greatest uh, fight ever in the history of ever, we are proud to be able to say we have something else for you. Now, that video was shot back in 1991. Oh, give it and to mom. Give it. We had our crack squad of private detectives track down those very same bulls. Today, <laughs> in studio, they will settle their grudge once and for all live. It's about to happen. Here it is. a winner when that happens. You're welcome. See, that's why Jenna retired. After a little while, you get old, bash into things, and the meat why just falls meat right brown? off. Is that cloned meat? Yeah, it probably it's disgusting. is. Disgusting. To get marinated. your daily viral fix, make sure to head on over to g4tv.com slash around the net, and there you can also sign up for the Who's around the net hungry? podcast. Ooh, I dare you to bite huh? it. Come on, I go. dare you to bite it. Oh. No, you bite it. 
You might, I dare you. Right oh my now, gosh. it's time we for the only going. news you need to know. Wait, Here's wait. Layla Kaylee Do in the feed headlines. Aww. Thanks, guys. Here's what's coming up in the feed. The Justice League of America film has been put on hold indefinitely. We'll find out if Truth and the American Way will follow. Plus, we've got terrible news for Torrance. Time Warner Cable wants to charge you for all that bandwidth you've been sucking up. And we've got news about monkeys controlling robots. I don't have to say anything else. Trust me and stick around because it's all coming your way in just a few minutes. But first, back to you guys. Now, as the fanboy sites surely have told you, we are finally on the brink of Cloverfield. We've been hearing about the movie for so long now, and it seems that some people have fallen out of favor with it and don't seem to be buying into the whole mysterious hype. So the question everybody is asking, will you see Cloverfield this Ooh, weekend? Will you? I'm not sure. Vote at our website, g4tv.com slash AOTS. That wasn't an option. Or text your vote. It's, <laughs> it's a, it was it's a yes or no kind well, of thing. Well, 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 can someone change it then? Okay. Text your vote to G4TXT. That's 44898 to vote and register for AOTS Live News Alerts. You guys, don't go anywhere. A live attack of the show is just getting started. And it's not done until we're saying we're done. And coming up, we will much on a new few miracle berries. So stick around while we check in here. our mouth. You'll see them. You'll see them. Get ready. Here's what's coming up on today's Attack of the Show. From a nameless trailer to one of the most anticipated movies of 2008, we're sorting through tons of Cloverfield speculation in the loop. And we found a fruit that makes even the sourest stuff taste sweet, and we're trying it out in our Miracle Berry taste test. Plus, we're reviewing the Jensen Rock and Road GPS, which boasts a beautiful touchscreen display and XM Ready Media Player on Gadgetron. We're keeping our monster a mystery when the attack comes back. Are gamers bored or just incredibly jaded? Find out in 60 seconds. Action! Whatever happened to all that excitement and wonder gamers used to feel? E3 and TGS were both kind of a letdown with no big WoW announcements or WoW games. Now, there's only two parties we could blame for this. Us, the gamers, or them, the industry. I mean, has the industry become just too scared to take any chances on something new that might impress us? Or have we become too jaded to enjoy what we already have? I say we're both responsible. I mean, you'd rather spend your 50 bucks on a sequel you know will be decent than an unknown game that could be crap. I understand. Now, the studio feels the same way with the millions they spend on making that game. So we should be a little more understanding and once in a while take a chance on that unknown game. I'm Morgan, and that's been a minute. Advance Wars Days of Ruin looks to be the most exciting entry in the series since its introduction, UGO.com. All new characters, grittier storyline, and Nintendo Wi-Fi connection capabilities. Advance Wars Days of Ruin, rated everyone 10 and up. Miracle Fruit that supposedly mess with your taste buds and yep. make sour things uh, taste sweet and delicious. And they'll help you bounce around the forest as well. Yeah. Very magical berries. They're not easy to find. We did locate some on a website, though. We had them shipped overnight from Florida. Mm -hmm. uh, and here they are right now. This is yes, it. Yes, they are. Woo! Now, Watch out, world. Listen. We got berries. If you've never heard of these things before, it's because they were mysteriously banned by the FDA back in the 70s here in the U.S. for some reason. Yeah, seriously, God bless this country. Because, I mean, you can't market a natural sweetener, but you can, can put clone goats in the food supply. How, so that's... Yeah. <laughs> right? That's America! Uh, 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 and the clone so, goats are made in China. So there's all this fuss globally over this berry, and oddly enough, very little is known about it. So as a public service, we are now going to try the berries ourselves. So... Let's, let's do it. it! Let's run this. Cheers. Now... Yeah! Huh? Yeah, well, it can't help its own taste, but whatever. Takes a short while for the effect to kick in. So meanwhile, uh, we said these things were popular, right? Abroad, here's a, a, a Taiwanese commercial for the berries, and this particular ad is for pills. <laughs> these things don't made, taste good at all. Made from the miracle fruit extract, which is actually called miraculin. Isn't that sweet? No? Uh -huh. The extract makes sour and bitter foods sweet, and it's extremely popular with dieters and diabetics around the world. Not popular with cable mm. television hosts. No. no. Why would you Why would you eat this just to eat something else? Uh, good question. I don't know. All right. Well, <laughs> while we're waiting for the effects, uh, the full effect here are a few fast facts about the berries. Uh, 
Miracle fruit were first documented in, in 1725 by an mm, explorer who was visiting West Africa. Awesome. The berries contain a protein That's called cool. miraculin like that, that binds to taste bud receptors and tem temporarily changes their function. Sweet. The miraculin effects last for at least 30 minutes, possibly up to two hours, though. So there, there you go. You have 15 minutes of displeasure and for two hours of bliss. Of what? To eat something else? Yeah, why not? <laughs> It was banned by the FDA as a sweetener in the 1970s, although they are not illegal to buy or sell or possess. So there you go. All yeah, right? You have to let it sit on your tongue. I think we've stalled long enough is what I'm thinking. Uh -huh. Yeah? So let's do it. Let's actually taste. Let's get to the tasting. Uh -huh. Okay. Are you good? I'm good. Okay. All right, let's go. see what, uh, what effects they have, if any, their consumption has on... Uh. on you have to swallow it on certain yeah, foods. Get it down there. Get it down there. Come on. It's for a network. Scientific experiment, we have a control sample, a test subject, if you will, who hasn't been affected by this miraculous fruit. Our beautiful Asian PA Derek will that. be tasting Asian Derek, everybody. all these foods before us to describe what they taste like. He's Asian. He really is Asian. Yes, he is really. Asian. He's a darker skinned Asian mm -hmm. without the effect of the miracle fruit. So uh, we've got some sour things, something sweet, and a Guinness, which apparently is supposed to taste like, uh, like chocolate, chocolate milk, milk afterwards. On, so he like has not already. been affected by miracle fruit, so. Continue. Let's throw a lemon party. Lemon. Dig in. Okay, Get in there. Please. All right, now, again, very scientific. Derek's going to bite in. Now, question, why is he wearing glasses? They're just for safety, yeah. safety precautions. You don't want any juice in the eye. Okay. Derek, what do you think? How are the lemons? Are they, in fact, sweet, sour? What are they? It is a lemon. It's sour. Sour okay. lemon. Sour lemon. Yeah. All right. Now, fruit is nature's candy, but what about oh. some artificial candy? Can I hop in on the lemon real quick and see if it's We're doing it right now? Us? Yeah, oh, let's okay. do it. Let's get into it. Here we go. Okay. Well, it's the canker sores. Well, I mean, the juice right I don't on. Have I'm oh. not kidding. Like, right now. like It burns? It doesn't burn. I'm like, seriously, mm. Kevin? <laughs> Just some... All right, I'm going to try the sour candy. Let's go to the Guinness. What does the Guinness taste like? How is that? But why is that sweet? I don't taste sour at all. Delicious. Wait. Tastes like delicious mm -hmm. Guinness? Mine delicious. is burning my, my... I'm not kidding. <laughs> well, I don't... Here, watch it down. Watch it down with some chocolate milk. <laughs> Let's see how that goes. It's not working for me. Cheers. Try it. Let's see it. <laughs> not bad. It actually, it doesn't taste like Guinness. It actually, I mean. <laughs> I'm not kidding. Did I get it? Did you guys trick me? No, no. There's no trick berries. It's all right. We're going <laughs> to. It doesn't taste, nothing tastes good right what now. What do you want? What do you want? Anything? Can we get some gum? Get her some no, gum. This is supposed to be sweeter, right? Well, you guys can get Miracle Berries and have your own little taste test <laughs> by going to MiracleFruitMan.com like and ordering up a batch of your own. Don't get that URL wrong, by the way, because FruitMan.com is a total bummer. I'm, I'm sorry, not it's not supposed to taste like burning. burning. It's not supposed to taste like that. It doesn't... All right. Time now for the only show. news you need to know. Here's Layla Kaylee with the feed. Thanks, guys. It's time to start the feed. In Canada, here in Hollywood, Apple... Kaylee. The writer's strike has done what Lex Luthor never could, killed the Justice League, or at least delayed them. News is breaking today that Warner Brothers will postpone director George Miller's live-action Justice League film because he wants the script revised. The delay means that the young actors already cast, like Adam Brody and Megan Gale, may not be available when work restarts on the film. He's hoping the big screen adaptation will be ready for the Justice League's 50th anniversary in 2010. Oscar-winning Grindhouse director Quentin Tarantino has an itch to remake Russ Meyer's influential cult classic, Faster Pussycat Kill Kill. The original featured strippers, Murder, Mayhem, Rednecks, and Hidden Fortunes. QT likes where that movie takes things, but would like to push things even further. Wow. His dream cast is Kim Kardashian, Eva Mendes, and of course, Britney Spears. Good luck getting Britney insured, Quentin, or even just getting her on the set. Well, just good luck all around. All right. According to a memo leaked to broadbandreports.com, Time Warner Cable may soon be introducing metered cable payment plans in the United States. In layman terms, it means you'll have to start paying for the exact amount of bandwidth you use. The original leaker of the memo deleted his post, but not long after, a Time Warner cable spokesman confirmed that the billing plan would be tested in small Texas markets, but that the plan would not be inflicted on existing customers, just new subscribers. Time Warner also said they hope to bring the plan to the rest of the nation if it should somehow prove successful in the test markets. They're smoking something. All right, TiVo has paired up with Juman.com 
Indie.com to help users get their indie film fix. Jamon.com provides indie and international films online. And with this partnership, TiVo subscribers will be able to download thousands of films featured in festivals such as Sundance, Cannes and Berlin, as well as my favorite, Bollywood. Service will roll out in the coming months and viewers will be able to rent and purchase films starting at $1.99 with a number of shorts and full-length films available for free. Can't wait. And finally, you got robot news in my monkey news. Neuroscientists at Duke University conducted a successful experiment where a 12-pound, 32-inch monkey located in North Carolina used only her brain activity to make a 200-pound, 5-foot humanoid robot located in Japan walk on a treadmill. This is the first time that brain signals have been used to make a robot walk. However, in 2003, the same team of neuroscientists proved that monkeys could use thoughts alone to control a robotic arm for reaching and grasping. Maybe we need to rethink the three laws of robotics and make them the three laws of monkey thoughts. Right, well, that's it for today, but don't worry, the feed doesn't stop here. Get all the news you need to know at any time at G4TV.com. I'm Layla Cayley, and you've just been fed. It still hurt. No berries for Miss Mom. But you're mm -hmm. going to down this beer. Sure, just, why not? Okay, to redeem yourself from when I whooped your... Wow! Woo! Yeah! Yeah. Can we get another? No? Yeah. All right, now you guys pay attention. Want to be badasses? The Ninja Warrior Challenge returns to G4. Last year, AOTS chose two American warriors to go to Osaka and bring honor to our country by competing in the Sasuke Obstacle Course. I love television. All you do is reach your hand out of the frame and a beer appears. Oh, you're down another Isn't one. Isn't that yeah. awesome? And three, two, one. I got one. the loop after the loop, maybe. Uh -huh. We're doing it again this year. This Someone on the forum said, maybe I'm the only one immune to the miracle fruit. Is that like a mutant gene? It probably is. I'm very probably cool. very powerful. Wow, that's cool. What else can you do with your abilities? That's about it. Oh, okay. Welcome, Welcome back, back to the show, everybody. <laughs> it's actually time for the first fresh ink of the new year. That's right. Uh, so, you know, is, uh, we want to check in with our resident fangirl. Yeah. Let's do it. It's, uh, it's our comic book geek, Miss Blair Butler. a few weeks into the new year and I'm already back at Golden Apple Comics with a stack of new books to review. We're kicking things off with an early contender for best indie comic of 2008 and don't let the cover fool you, it's the interior of the Acme Novelty Library number 18 that really matters. Award-winning artist and cartoonist Chris Ware is back with this tale of a lonely, one-legged woman plagued by memories of her life with her one and only boyfriend, her year spent as a nanny for a wealthy couple, and the sadness and beauty of her daily life. Now, if that sounds like a downer, well, it is. But Ware's colorful graphic design elevates her melancholy to high art. There's a reason Ware's work has been exhibited in museums from the Whitney to the Museum of Contemporary Art in Chicago. His design is clean, unique, and captivating, and his text, while understated, is equally powerful. The story unfolds like a narrative game of shoots and ladders, where readers follow sentence fragments unpredictably up and down each page. It's amazing that something this tragic can be so exhilarating to read. Up next, a comic that wonders where the hell superheroes go when they retire. Well, the answers can be found in the surprisingly youthful Welcome to Tranquility. If a comic about a bunch of aging super folk living in a powers-only retirement community sounds dull to you, why not toss murder, mayhem, and a whole lot of humping into the mix? The tiny town of Tranquility is supposed to be a place where elderly, golden age heroes can live out their remaining years in, well, tranquility. But when one of the town's founding heroes is killed, it's up to the local sheriff to find out who did it and why. Part mystery, part superhero our town Welcome to Tranquility is a diverting detective story, the comic book equivalent of an entertaining beach read. And from the Crypt Keeper lookalike who runs the cemetery to the surly super grandkids who form an emo gang, the town is anything but retiring. So if you like a good mystery or you've ever dreamed of living somewhere where everyone had power, even Grandpa, this one's for you. And finally, a promising new series to help you ring in the new year, but 
Be warned, this one's a bit of a challenge. Pax Romana is a thought-provoking mashup of time travel, historical research, science fiction, and sociology, and it's like nothing else on the market. In the distant future, the Roman Catholic Church decides to send mercenaries back to 312 AD to change the past and create a future more favorable to Catholicism. Now, in most hands, this would read as either an exercise in sci-fi silliness or a polemic against the church, but writer and artist Jonathan Hickman never takes the story in a predictable direction. Hickman brings his signature text-heavy graphic style to this insanely intricate what-if story and gives us one of the most intriguing first issues I've encountered in a long, long time. The final page cements this series as one to watch in 08 and one that has the potential to become a modern classic. All right, I've given you two main courses and a, a fluffy comic book dessert, and I hope you like them because I can't think of any better way to kick off Fresh Ink in 2008. Chris Ware book came out in the final days of 2007, but thanks to some crazy shipping issues, very few people were able to get their hands on it until 2008. So as far as I'm concerned, it really is the best indie to come out in the new year. And if you want to see my reviews of the controversial new Hulk and Spider-Man comics, please check out Fresh Ink online at g4tv.com slash Fresh Ink. Oh! Kevin and Olivia, ladies and gentlemen. No JLA movie. Blair, the hotness butler. Yeah, thank you very much. We're thank taking you. a short break, but you know the drill. Please stick around. There's lots more ahead. Believe it or not, we're TV's only source. Bob Blair, you care about. <laughs> Coming up, the Rock and Road GPA. Well, it is G4's plan to reduce e-waste. Visit gcycle.org to find local places to ditch your old electronics and start G-cycling. Whose car hey is this? <laughs> Naughty picture. It is time for today's epic fail. This video has all of the makings of a Bollywood blockbuster. Bad acting, mm -hmm. over the top music, crappy effects, colorful costumes, and lights. And just like most Bollywood <laughs> films, we'd rather not watch it. So yeah. today's epic fail is Sitar Hero. <laughs> Sitar Hero! Cool! Play as your favorite Sitar Star! Whoa! Ravi Shankar! Hey Billy, I'm like totally kicking your butt! Make your enemies eat your sock, Paneer! Whoa! I'm enlightened! Sweet! I've reached Nirvana! I like my Sitar, I play the Sitar, Sitar! Reincarnated as nasty chicken. So pick up your copy today and rock your way into the upper cat. Sitar Hero. Kevin? I disagree. I thought that was good. No? He does Come not on. We might have to have a fail. chat about Epic Fail. Oh well. Yeah. Robbie Shankar. Yeah. Let's hear well, it for him. You know, he'd be rolling in his grave if he was dead. I don't think he's dead. He's not? I don't think he is. No. Oh, well, I'm glad you're healthy so and he's doing well. In his basement. <laughs> Well, you know, the internet is not a toy, no. so please um, think before you epic fail, and we'll try to pick things that Kevin thinks are epic fails as well. I'm better luck next time. Sorry. All right, coming up tomorrow on an all-new AOTS, Chris Gore is at Sundance getting ready to give us a live report. I'll be there this weekend. As much see screen as you have? You watching everything or just snowboarding? I'm snowboarding, actually. There you go. He's also going to give us a movie that, that may have interviewed Osama bin Laden in it, mm. so that could be very interesting. And on the loop, we can review, we'll discuss two religions, Scientology and Macintosh. Then on Monday, we will review the Anxious ECC. This laptop is so small and light, but does it measure up inside, and does it fit inside a manila envelope? Oh. Inside a... Oh, I guess no, it no, only no, works gonna, with you. Me, thank you. Inside, no. No. Nope. All right, we'll find out in Gadget Prime. Uh, why does it all work when I say it? Inside, it, no. Go to g4tv.com slash AOTS for all things you saw today and more. You, G4, Stick around you because control. X plays all new, and they're going hands-on for the world-exclusive live demo of Radical's open-world brawler prototype. Scott Steinberg, VP of Product Marketing for Sony, is also going to join them for some FaceTime.
And it's all going to start right now. I saw a prototype. It's amazing. Do not get up from your seats.